must be the place. Professor Oubier's house. Looks pretty creepy. I'd been away from Paris and hadn't seen Nico for nearly six months. I wanted to celebrate our reunion, but she had other plans. An appointment with an archaeologist. Something to do with a Mayan stone she came across while researching a story. The guy who answered the door didn't look much like an archaeologist to me. I had a bad feeling about this. I glanced over the books, vaguely hoping to find a copy of How to Deal with Poisonous Spiders While Tied to a Chair. No such luck. But I noticed one corner of the bookcase was supported by a loose block of wood. Maybe I'd been a little heavy-handed, but it was a question of survival. Of course, I was still tied to a chair in a burning house with no means of escape. Inside, I found a bottle of tequila. Normally, I didn't drink strong spirits, but today was far from normal. Ew. Disgusting. Not only did the tequila burn like hell, I just managed to stop myself from swallowing the worm. Highly artistic, but of very little practical use. Nice couple. There was something short, fleshy, and gross on the carpet. It was the worm from the bottle of tequila. I wasn't going to get through those sturdy bars. I wasn't going to get through those sturdy bars. There was no pressure in the siphon. I guess it was out of gas. That dart was sharper than a mosquito's business end, but this didn't deter me from getting it anyway. I wasn't going to touch the box after that spider had been inside it. The 
cabinet was locked. Nico's handbag, and besides which, the color didn't suit me. I wasn't a That wouldn't work. The rope was shredded and impossible use to me. I had no time to sit around. The bookcase had fallen on its front. Highly artistic. The door blocked my only means of escape. I racked my brains to think of a way to improvise a fire extinguisher. If only I'd stop for a coffee at the airport. The cabinet was locked. As I released the lock, something blew the doors open. I couldn't think of a you. That cylinder was hot. I couldn't pick it up with my... The panties I'd found in Nico's bag were just what I needed to wrap. The cylinder gave out a faint hiss as the valve opened. Huh? Now I had one primed up and ready to use extinguisher. I wasn't going to burn myself on that road, and it wasn't the time. I'd found a piece of newspaper folded. It referred to a fourth, unfortunately, the best place The phone was no use, apart from Nico, that... It 
it was locked. The door was locked. I didn't fancy my chances of kicking this door down. The tiny point was only of use for picking small locks. The tiny point was...